don't think people realize how crazy Infinity actually is. Like imagine you're a manager of a hotel with infinite rooms. It's fully booked, but a new guest arrives. Now what do you do? Well, they ask each guest to move one room over. Now room one is empty and there's a place for the guests. Now imagine there's a bus that shows up with infinite guests. Now what do you do? How about this? You tell every guest to go to the room that's double their room number. So room one goes to room two, room two goes to room four. Now all the odd numbered rooms are empty and now there's unlimited space for the bus of infinite people. But what happens now if infinite buses throw up with infinite people? Now you got a problem. So what you do is you tell each current guest to go to a room that's the first prime number to the power of their room number. So guest one will go to two to the power of one, guest two goes to two to the power of two. Then you assign each bus to the next prime numbers. The first bus will be prime number three, the second bus will be prime number five, and each new guest would have a room that's a prime number of their bus to the power of their seat number. So on the first infinite bus, a seat number four would be three to the power of four. So you do that for all the infinite buses because there's infinite prime numbers and everyone gets a room and there's no overlapping room numbers. 